Uh, we have a really cool uh, swimming pool in this house, but we don't have an outdoor shower. Normally, you will have an outdoor shower in areas where you're, you know, maybe you're close to the beach or in places where it will be convenient to have a shower. Um, well, like in this case, in a, right next to a swimming pool. So the idea with this is that we're going to give some sort of uh, architectural design to this, um, a nice decorative design, not only a simple thing or something that is completely open. So it's going to have a little bit of privacy, yet it's going to be nice and de decorative. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose this section that has a little slope. The concrete has a little slope and it has a drain on the bottom that will go all the way to the side. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove all these things. Uh, we'll show you in a sketch of how it's going to look like. And then we're going to start cutting and doing all these cool looking patterns to, you know, to make it look nice. So let's continue. So what you see here is the lumber that we're going to use. We have two by twos, four by fours, uh, the one by five, so the five quarter by six, you know, which are the deck planks. We have two by fours, I mean, uh, one by fours. We have all these ones that are, you know, wood planks, really a little stronger, a little bigger. So it's like a, probably a little more than five quarters, which is like, you know, one and a quarter is called. And other ones that are, you know, regular wood planks. The, what happens is that if you want to maximize um, your, your pro, not your productivity, but when you want to maximize uh, the, the usage or you want to avoid a lot of waste, you want to buy the stuff almost at the, at the size that you want, uh, or uh, you end up with a lot of waste. Or, you know, you build your, your shower so you don't waste that much material. Let me put it that way. So we're using, you know, standard measurements that will help us to do the final cutting at the end. So let's continue. I'll show you some of the parts that we're going to start by cutting the trellises part. And all. Um, what you see here, those nine pieces are going to be the support for the, the floor planks. Those floor planks that you see there, let me get closer, um, are going to be in three different panels. This will be the um, total distance, meaning like 36 by 60, that we need to cover the floors with. So the idea is that, you know, when you're taking a shower, you don't want to kind of be standing on the bottom. You want the feet to dry or to, you know, the, the floor to drain, and that's perfect for this purpose. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the inch and, uh, inch and five eighths deck screws on these planks, and we're going to get like three panels on top of them, so they can be easily removed when you uh, need to uh, clean the bottom of it and, you know, properly let it drain. It's good also if you're standing on top of stone or something like that, because it will, it will give you a nice flat surface to stand on. So once you finish, this is the part that goes here. Um, what we did is that we, you know, we, we cut about, you know, from here to here, like about six inches. We left this and like a five inches here because our, our shower is not going to be huge. So we don't want to have like long proportions kind of standing out. It will look a little weird. So um, we just came out with this pattern about inch and a half over here and it just goes up. And so this piece is going to be our template for the rest of the cuts. So these are six feet long. Um, um, these are going to be four parts that are going to be supporting the, the upper trail leaves uh, section. So let's continue. Uh, okay, so we have four pieces uh, following the same design. And now we're applying stain. This stain is from the company Olympic Elite and the color is Kona Brown. The idea with this is that um, um, because the, the wood is treated, it has some sort of oils inside and some of the treatment that they use needs to dry as well so um, you want to make sure that you don't put a solid color in it you put some sort of a stain if you want to um, if you want to stain this immediately um, or add some color otherwise you will have to wait a few months according with the manufacturers uh, to uh, you know to, to be able to apply something else so so that's that's the difference in between using solid colors and these colors uh, we're going to go ahead and do some more cutting for the uh, the transversals so the you know the ones that are going on top of the of, of these these boards we're going to keep cutting up in other words um the next step that we're having over here we're putting the anchors on the floor these are the three three eighths by three inch anchors on the floor with this type of um, uh, plates on the bottom those are to support the the columns now the hole that you see there is a hole that was made for the coal and hot water that is coming a little bit deeper than normal because it has to go under the permafrost, meaning like a layer of uh, 
of dirt that gets frozen when it gets cold and and you need to make sure that that's all the way down over there besides you need to protect those pipes anyway um so you, you need to put this right now we have a distance of 36 inches in between what we're going to do is we're going to you know secure the stuff and we're going to start with that remember that we have that like, like 60 inches uh in between those two posts and then we, we're going to leave some space against the wall so water can drain properly so Okay, so now we have two posts already organized, set up. Uh, the, the distance between them are 36 inches. So we want to make sure that they are nice and square. You want to level those um, really well. Those two by twos by, that you see there are 56 and a half. And the reason is that 10 boards, 10 of these boards will give you 10, 26 and, uh, 56 and a half. Um, they are about 14 inches from the floor up and this board is nice and straight. So we're going to start just putting all these planks over here. That's why we pre-stain um, them and later on we're going to do some touch-ups but once we finish so we kind of get a heads up instead of like dripping everything on the concrete. Okay so what you see now is uh, the first board is being installed. Um, I have that 2x2 two two in the back and that thing is um, yeah, 56 and a half long. That's for 10 boards that we're going to install. Um, then it's about 14 inches from the floor. Um, so that's kind of the privacy that you need when you're taking a shower anyway we're going to add some decoration on the top but that's how we're going to do we're going to put it nice and straight level and start with this panel notice that we have the hole over there for the um, the water lines so uh, let's continue assembling the first panel um, well now you see the five pieces that are going to go on top on the on the um, shallower part meaning on the 36 inch plus the the 4x4 four four area uh, this one, the long one that you see here, are the ones that are going to go transversely. Um, there are going to be four of them, and what I'm doing is marking where the notches are going to go. Now, the idea is that this piece will, will you know, come out just a little bit out of the, of the post. So you don't want to end up um, right by the post. You want it to extend a little bit. And um, the, the other part is that those notches are going to be an uh, inch and a half deep gonna be five of them because there are five boards and I'm gonna make them at the same time so I'm gonna you know stand up four of these pieces at the same time and I'm gonna make the cuts so all of them will be lining up and you don't have an issue later on trying to make one individually so it'll be like four cuts in one shot um, so that's the idea the idea is that um, by by making those notches and both um, pieces they will be an insert of like three inches that will help you to maintain those boards nice and straight and in fact you can actually put some screws in it and it will it will just kind of snug the thing really well it fasten it tighter than otherwise just kind of sitting on top of the of the either the post or the boards that are here that also works for the for the thicker boards like the two bys they will they will work as well so let's continue okay so you can see now that we have all those notches inch and a half down we we actually set up the circular saw for that so um, they are line, nice and lined up. They actually, you know, they fit nice and snug there. So the idea is that um, because they are lined up, we can actually set them up already on the on the posts. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on the post before we do the notches on this one. The idea is that we we want to make sure that we have all the distances fine, and uh, you know, one is not gonna be longer than the other, or or it's gonna be exposed more on one side than the other. So let me just mount it up there, and I show. Um, so once you put the, the top part, um, it's time to uh, install the, the other ones that go perpendicular to it. So um, you can see a piece over here that was already notched, the second one. And I'm doing it like piece by piece in this case because the situation is that um, here we have a post that we need to make some sort of like a, like a big um, um, hole in a kind of U shape because of a big notch because it, it, you know it's right there where the post is but on the other side we don't have so you know one at a time in this case we happen to have the one that has four holes inch and a half deep as well and we're using that wood chisel and the hammer to kind of just chisel it out uh, after we cut it with the circular saw so let's continue what you see here now is the uh, faucet that we're installing on the outside now, um, we have to understand a little bit of the nature of the fluids and how the mechanical part of this will work. Um, in areas, we are working in an area that um, can tend to get frozen or below zero uh, degrees for the water. And therefore, the, the water will behave in a certain way. 
uh, when the water is too cold and it's frozen it tends to expand and that's kind of the effect that you see when you put a plastic bottle with water inside your freezer that will tend to like expand and blow up um, that's kind of the same thing that will happen if you don't have a way of removing the water from these water lines so for that we're installing um, valves on the lower part of the of the um, um, pipes so um, you can actually drain the water and, and avoid that pressure that will be caused by that that's something that is really important now from the basement of the house we're going to have two valves that are going to be uh, the shadow valves for the water that will supply the water for this faucet so we're going to decorate this with more boards uh, notice that we have some some gaps over here these gaps are going to be filled with um, with uh, silicon uh, brown silicon and that will help us to kind of actually give a little nice uh, uh, effect and also the, a little more privacy but um, the idea is that um, in this case we we can um, understand how the the water will behave now the water um, that is coming you know fairly far from from the point where the shower is will go through this trench this trench uh, was um, I, I would say designed after or planned after we made sure that there were no uh, gas lines, water lines, uh, electric lines, or uh, communication lines under the the ground, and that uh, you can actually call your your city or your um, uh, municipality to make sure, or you just kind of revise your your blueprints and stuff like that, and make sure that you're not going to hit something. And if you have something over there, you have to be extremely careful. So uh, we are digging below the uh, frozen line or the permafrost or. Um, you know uh, what is considered in every state um, um, the closer you get to the poles the the colder is going to get so you need to be in deeper and deeper with your water lines uh, so you got to have um, that in consideration when you're doing that also we're going to put this insulation um, on the pipes so we can actually uh, maintain the water at, at a constant temperature from the inside especially hot water so don't forget about that now we're going to go through the door that we have over here the door has 10 boards and uh, kind of mimic the almost the height of the of the walls but a little just a little bit lower because those were designed for privacy on the other side but uh, we're going to cut these frames um you know 45 degree angles then after in the bottom i um, mean on the other side on the back we're going to put a transversal piece so to avoid the the door from sagging and collapsing um so we're going to use an inch and a five eighths screws in this case um, we have these uh self uh, locking Mm, hinges that were going to help us to maintain the, 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 the door closed and we left a little bit of a space so we actually closed as well but we're going to have a door stopper so I'll show you in a moment how that will, will turn out so just remember the water and if you have any concerns obviously just just consult with your plumber and or you know have a, a plumber doing the, the project okay um, and the project is finished so let me show you Ta -da! finally okay no not finally I mean it was not that bad um okay so let's start with this door um the door has three hinges the top hinge has this um, um spring that will help you to to close the door so the the door itself closes um let me see just bring it up a little bit more so it has its own way of closing obviously i don't want somebody to snap the fingers on the bottom so i just made it um, um stiff enough so it will retract in a nice way um so you have this handle kind of nice rustic handle appropriate of kind of the look that i wanted to give and uh, you have this um block over here oh this latch so um we made a little hole over here and we just put it in all the way and that's it i mean you don't need to put it all the way just, just to kind of hold but if you see we put this door stopper here and the idea with that door stopper is to obviously you know maintain that nice and straight there and to obviously give the possibility. Now on this wall inside, as you walk in, you have two hooks. So these hooks will help you to put your your towel, your clothes, your you know your trunks or whatever swimsuit. And also I want to show you this part. Oh, let me bring it up a little bit because I was making the Spanish version now. So here it is. That is the kind of European style, modern style um, faucet or shower faucet. So what you see here is a nice square. Um, I'm gonna kind of open it up right now. Well, hold on. Let me before I get wet. Um, I wanna. Uh, what what happened over here is that well, we use this for um, two by twos on the side, and then we 
just kind of put it straight, we cover it up. In the case that you want to expose all the audio piping, well, you can make it out of, make it out of gra uh, brass, uh, copper, galvanized. Well, galvanized is not that good, but you know, something, something, I mean, whatever you want to do is fine. We just want to give it a little nice clean look. Um, but, but I really like the, the faucet. So here it is, you have a nice shower head, a uh, nice square shower head with so plenty of um, pressure in this case. And now the little knob that you see here is uh, the diverter. So that will give you the water. So let's see how powerful that water is. Actually it goes all the way 60, 60 inches. So um, that's, that's pretty much what it is. So I'm just gonna do some little stain touch-ups. And that's pretty much for, for this project. If you remember, um, I use the boards are actually designed for the floor. Normally you can find them at a um, you know, big home improvement store. They, they will help you to have a little more grit. Um, the stain, obviously, this was like a kind of red, um, um, but, um, but that's it. I mean, it's a really cool, really strong structure, really nice and square, stiff. It will not go anywhere. And again, the idea on this side was to kind of bring those little boards so it gives a little more privacy, especially if somebody wants to like, take a look. <laughs> but anyway, if somebody wants to look, just kind of go on the bottom. Silly. Um, so that's it. I hope this video will help you to understand how to make your you help to make your own uh, shower, um, outdoor shower. Um, I hope you know that you like it, and um, you know you actually put like on the video. And if you're not a subscriber, just please subscribe. I always try to bring a lot of material. I'm gonna be doing a little more of uh, modern decoration and uh, abstract designs of things and stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye bye.